This is a basic doubles format. My partner is serving, Chad is the receiver, David is the receiver's partner, I'm the server's partner. As you can see, I'm standing closer to the net than the receiver's partner, David. Kind of raise your hand there. And the reason is, I'm on the offense hoping that Chad, the receiver, makes a weak return to me or near me. David has to presume that's going to happen. So his job is to help call the line in front of him, called the service line. And then when Chad's receiving, his eyes are on me, watching my racket. Because of my racket moves, he knows I'm getting the ball even before he can see the ball. So we're going to start and just show you what the first setup looks like here for doubles. Alan will be serving to Chad. So as you could see, David was fully prepared for my reply. David has to assume the worst. He has to assume his partner hitting behind him is going to make a weak return to the net person. Now, very common mistake. Watch David. When the ball served to Chad, David's going to see how Chad is doing. Watch. So because David looked back and watched his partner hit, he wasn't ready for the ball coming to me, didn't have a chance to react to it. So now we're going to show once again what David should be doing. He helps call the line, he looks at me, then he has an opportunity to react to the ball. Another common mistake is where David is, David can move over towards our number two there and up. I think now it's pretty obvious if I get the ball, there's a huge hole in the middle of the court. So again, that's why David is where he is. He's on the defense, I'm on the offense. Chad's goal as the receiver is to keep the ball away from me, the net person, which he's going to do this time. He's going to return back to the server and watch what David is going to do, watch what I'm going to do. David's going to move to an offensive position. I'm going to move to a defensive position, and we'll show you why. And David makes a winner. Even though he's supposed to hit to me, nice shot, David. I'll get even with you. OK, so we call that the first move of doubles. Ball goes by me, I look at David, David hits, kindly hits back to me, and we're playing a point out. Now I'll demonstrate a common mistake that this person makes, this person being the server's partner. The return of serve goes by me, I look back, give my partner some moral support, let's see how it plays out. You go for the winner there. It's pretty obvious there's a big hole in the middle of the court. I'm so close to David, I won't have time to react. Okay, now I'm going to do the correct move. Ball goes by me, I look at David, ready to react to the ball. And we're playing a point, keeps me safe. Gives me a chance to protect the middle of the court, and I have time to react to the ball because I'm a little bit deeper. Now, let's look at the second move of the game. The second move is after the receiver hits the ball back to the server, David moves over to two, I back up, we're here. Now, Alan, my partner, the server knows he better keep it away from David, Mr. Number One at Fairview High School. So he hits it away from David back to Chad. It's pretty obvious if Chad's swinging and hitting, I left him quite a bit of room over here. So I shift over to protect my alley. That's pretty obvious. If David stays where he is, there's a big hole in the middle of the court if I get the ball. 
So the first thing we're going to demonstrate is David and I will move to our second positions. I'm going to stay in my second position, and let's see what happens. Ball goes by. I'm watching David. Now I'm not paying attention. The whole side of the court's open here. Okay. This time we're going to do, David and I will do what we're supposed to do. Here we go. First position. Second position. And David's in the right place. I'm in the right place. We can continue the point from there. I move over, David stays where he is, leaves a big hole in the middle of the court. We're both doing our best to keep our eyes forward and believing every ball is coming to us. Now, David and I will do the correct things. And we'll see what happens as we play it out. First move. Second move. There we go. That's the second move. Now we're going to introduce you to something that happens on a tennis court that's pretty darn common, which is how to handle the lob as a team. Alan's going to serve to Chad again. Chad is going to lob over me. Notice what I'm going to do. Notice what David's going to do. We're going to play the point out. Switch. Boom. So what did we do there? Ball's lobbed over me. I have to presume my partner behind me is going to make a weak shot. Plus, Alan will be on this side of the court. I switch to the other side with my eyes on David. Get ready. Remember what that's called, the split step. David's up close. He's hoping my partner makes a weak return to him. At least I have a chance to protect myself. David's getting ready for an overhead. I know I better scoot back even more. So we call that the switch, what most people do wrong, in this case, is when they get lobbed over, they just cross straight across. Let's see why we don't want to do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not everyone's going to be as nice as David just was. OK. Here we go one more time. This is what we should do if a ball is lobbed over us. I'm watching David. David gets it. And he doesn't even give the old guy a chance. Nice drop volley, David. OK, let's talk about another scenario. Chad returns the serve back to Allen. David and I assume our position's at number two. The ball is now lobbed by Allen over David. Let's see what happens now. Switch. OK, and David was ready to hit the ball. OK, those are the basic moves of doubles. Now, there's some specialty moves we should talk about. For example, Chad is having a bad day today, and he just can't keep the ball away from me. And David's getting blasted. Over and over again, Dave's just getting blasted. Boom. He says, I'm not going to take this anymore. So David's going to back up right to about where he is now, near the baseline. He's still watching me. We use the expression keen or watching me. Helps call the line. Now, if the ball's hit into over there, he has a much better chance to return it. Here we go. Ready position. Look serious, David. Okay. So that's 
one position. Another adjustment is often made is Allen's having a tough time serving, so the only way he's getting to serve in is to really slow it up. Chad's moving in all over the service line here in front and blasting the ball at me. And I don't want to take that, so I back up a little bit. All right, here we go. So by being back further, I had more time to react. So the two most important things we're going to review now. Number one, every tennis player on the court has to have a singles mentality, which means in singles we know we're responsible for every ball. So I want everyone to be ready for each and every shot that's being hit on the other side of the court. So you're telling yourself the ball's coming to you. And if there's a surprise, I want you surprised when you don't get the ball, not when you do get the ball. Okay? Let's play another point with an option now. Chad is going to return serve and come to net. Let's see how he does that. Remember the split step from yesterday. Chad returns by me, comes into net, splits. We play the point. Eyes forward, always believing the ball's coming to you. Eyes are forward. David looks at me. He's afraid it might come to me. He's now ready. Alan covers the other side. Boom. We're having fun now. Yes, we are. Nice split steps. OK. Another option. Chad returns and comes in as the receiver. The server comes in. Shortly, there'll be four people at net very fast. Very important to keep our eyes forward. Pardon me, very important to believe the ball's coming to us. One of you give me a simple volley, gosh darn it. Nice shot. Chad hit the shot just where he should hit it. He hit it right up the middle between us. There's a little rhyme that's important to learn in doubles, which is when there are two net people, if you hit up the middle, you'll solve the riddle. All that really means is that's the best place to hit. Okay, I want to thank you very much for joining us. Uh, We've reviewed the basic strokes, the basic footwork, the advanced strokes, the advanced footwork. We've done the doubles, doubles angles, return asserts, overhead smashes, volleys, uh, half volleys. Hopefully covered the majority of things that everybody would be interested in. And after you see this, if you have suggestions, we'll be glad to hire Alex again to come out. Okay, this is Alex, the videographer. Hard one for me to pronounce, I'm just a tennis pro. He's done a great job, he's coming late at night, he's coming during his lunchtime, uh, working around our schedule, and we're very excited that we had the opportunity to work with Alex. Again, thank you very much. I appreciate it on behalf of myself, Rich Berman, Alan Suda, Chad Suda, and Dave Warren, who helped out earlier. All right, thank you very much.